Hi, everybody. Um, okay, Mike is on. Looking good. Okay. Well, you know, there's... Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, there's, uh, you know, something new I kind of learn every, every time uh, I, I look at Twitch, you know, work on Twitch. And you may have noticed there was a stream starting soon screen. And it was a slideshow. Figured out how to do that. And I learned that it's good to have one of those because you can start, you know, right when you say you're going to start streaming, but the slideshow allows people to like get here and folks can chat in the chat, which I think I saw. Carol, Carol, Mary's getting fancy. You're right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's all happening. Um, thanks to you all. I mean, like you're here so I can continue to, you know, <laughs> try to make this, you know, thing make this plane fly. And um, a, another thing I watched about it said, you know, a stream will start soon screen uh, is good because some people who get notifications, I mean, it's not like instantaneous for everyone, you know, around the world. And we have people from around the world. We've got Australians around here, hanging out around here with us. We've got um, Canadians, folks in the UK, and of course, folks in the States. I feel like they're, where? Oh, Germany, of course, Caroline. So, um, so it's just great to see you. I, I've, got, I've got some people here that I, I think might be new. Just a guy sewing, hi. Um, Jojo, you've been here. Log cabin girl, girl. I think you're new, welcome. Welcome everybody, I mean, felt like sweets, hi. Oh, it's your first live. Charles, Charles. Welcome. You will find that the chat room that you're in, great. It's great. It's the best chat room on the internet. Um, and I'm so glad that you've come here. And if you're here uh, and you don't want to chat, that's all good. I don't actually know how to see how, like, who all is in the room, like, who isn't chatting. But even if I could, I'll never be like, hello. Hello, Fonz2573. How you doing you know like just lurk if, if you want to lurk that's okay um it's a safe space um i i'm so sibby Rhonda, susan carol myra michelle i know i'm missing somebody it's not good molly um <laughs> molly of course molly 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 bonnie 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 mcleod you've been here before i'm sure um julie Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. Hmm. Interesting. I wish it would tell me if it's your first time ever anyway, but it doesn't matter. Um, no matter where you are, who you are, it's Tuesday and I am very glad that it is because this is Twitch day. Um, it's one of them. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Central time, 5 p.m. time for me in London. Um, we do this, we do this thing. And it's uh, a couple months into doing it now. And um, I don't know, I'm kind of liking this quilt church thing. This quilt church thing is really, uh, is really kind of cool. I, I, I want to say a word about that. Um, but also now, Saturdays at, help me out, is it 4 p.m.? No, no, no. 4 p.m. Central? Is that right? Because I'm going to keep doing that. Um, I'm going to keep doing that, uh, that, that stream on Saturday night, but you know what? Last Saturday or this past Saturday, I was a little bit tired and, you know, <clears throat> I really like to be you know, perfect. The things that I really love to do, I really want to do them well. And I felt like I was, I felt like I was a little tired on Saturday and maybe it didn't come through. I hope it didn't, but I know what to do for this Saturday. I know what to do. I, I, I know to not do as much as I did on Saturday, like before the stream because it's 10 p.m. for me to go on and uh, to go live. And I really, I really like the Saturday night stream. I think it's great. It's a good vibe, but I was a little tired. So I've amended my schedule, a little self-care. And um, let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something here because my, my chat is being a little bit slow and I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Um, okay, so what I want to share 
is that okay I'm not sure what's what's happening there but that's fine that's fine it's no problem I know what to do um but I can't see the chat right now so if you're saying something you probably and you probably are uh, I apologize if I'm missing it I can fix that I'm getting better at fixing things on the fly I think um I hope you're all doing well I just had a great couple of days in Yorkshire I took the train up to Yorkshire to um to work on this Bronte quilt folk work uh, Bronte workshop <clears throat> um and so and by the way if you're new I'm going to talk a little bit about this Bronte thing. What am I talking about? And then I'll tell you what we're going to do here and what we've been, what we've been creating here. What, what sort of show, what sort of community, what kind of thing is happening at Quilt Church? What does that even mean? So I'm going to, going to talk to you about that before we get into the meat of the show. Um, but before that, uh, and while my chat is loading, uh, I want to tell you about my field trip. Um, so Quilt Folk uh, magazine, Quilt Folk the company. Um, it's a really special, special um, uh, endeavor, special like entity <laughs> in the quilt world. And we're all quilt nerds here, by the way. We nerd out on quilts. If you're a nerd in something else, I think you will like it here also because we nerd out hard on all things quilt. Okay. We don't like teach. I don't teach people here. It's not, a, it's not that we research, we dive deep into the, the, you know, rabbits, <laughs> the rabbit's nest, I almost said rabbit's nest, um, into the rabbit hole, whatever you want to call it. We go through the labyrinth of quilt, um, culture and quilt history. So you won't learn how to make quilts here, but you will learn about quilts here. Okay. More on that in a second. Um, so, so quilt folk, if you're a quilt person, you probably know about it. If you're one of those non-quilt people who happens to be dropping in, you won't. Quilt Folk Magazine is a magazine that uh, travels the country investigating the life of the quilt, the quilters, and state by state. Anyway, and we do these online workshops. We've been doing these workshops. And um, I'm in London, and I'm going to do this, um, aha, going to do this workshop with Jenny Smith, who's a brilliant, um, a brilliant uh, quilt maker and just a delightful person. And then uh, also Kay, the delightful Kay Walsh. Um, she is also helping us out. And, and so I'm so sorry, chat. I'll just, I'll just come back after I do this because if I pay attention to two things, it'll be just, it'll be a crack up. Um, we're doing a, we're doing a workshop based on a very interesting quilt about 200 years old this quilt and it was made by the Bronte sisters Charlotte Emily and Anne Bronte as in like the Bronte sisters Wuthering Heights Agnes Gray uh Jane Eyre and it's really so I saw it I got to see it finally I've been working on this uh workshop you know for a while and researching and things but I took the train to Yorkshire oh, and I saw it oh. I cannot. I mean, and I can't show you pictures. I mean, I'm not being like, Ugh. I don't mean to, you know, tease you about it. I just, I mean, I, I can't show you pictures. You got to take the workshop, but I am going to show you a picture from the house because we, because the quilt, which I can total, I mean, I can show you like the flat shot of the quilt because, you know, I've, sh I showed you that before. Um, and here, here it is. And I'll, and I'm going to tell you about that little dog that you're seeing. So here, here is the, um, here is the quilt. This is the quilt that the Bronte sisters made. Okay. And we don't have the exact year of it, but you know, they lived in like the first half of the 19th century. I mean, I think they were all, they were all dead by like 18, 50 something. I mean, and they died young, like in their t late twenties, like, you know, I'll get all of those facts exactly right before I, you know, teach <laughs> hundreds of people because hundreds of people have signed up for this, which is cool. Um, but they all died very young of, you know, tuberculosis is terrible. Anyway, so they made this quilt. I finally got to see the actual quilt. Um, and it's extraordinary. And, um, and, and, um, there is a, uh, a very interesting room 
in the Bronte Parsonage Museum. And that's where the quilt is kept. It's not on display. So we get this VIP. Of course, we took video of all of this. So you'll see them unrolling the quilt and everything. Um, it's, in, it's held in the Bronte Parsonage Museum uh, in Howarth. Howarth. H-A-W-O-T-H. Howarth. I always want to put an R in there. Howarth. Um, so it's held there and so we got to tour the whole house, you know, and let me show you some rooms in this house. So we're going to teach you how to make the center medallion of this quilt. Okay. Or like the center bit of this, you're going to learn essentially, oh, I can use my little tool. Okay. Um, you'll learn patchwork techniques to make your own sort of center medallion. Um, and now I am going to, oh yeah, here we go. Okay. Um, I'm just, I'm just getting it, getting it so I can, so I can see your chat, you guys. Ah, here it is. Here it is. Yay. I apologize. I apologize. Hey, Star Sundance. Yes. Yes. Everybody's there. Log Cabin Girl. And Sue, 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 hi. I'm sorry. I could welcome you like immediately when you came in I was having some issues obviously Julie third time ever love that everybody's here everybody's here uh Pensacola Pensacola Amy it's exactly what you should do you're on, I'm on in the background I love that quilting Nancy hello okay so we're in the house now I feel like a little bit calmer um Charlotte and and uh, 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 or, or Emily Bronte were all beautiful artists. I, I did not write down who, which one of the Bronte sisters painted this, drew this picture, but it, it's, in the, it's in the museum. I mean, it's in the, the parsonage. And there's all of these wonderful drawings by the Brontes, and they're amazing. And I'll show you more in the lecture, but look at this little pup. Look at this little pup. Hey, hey, Amy. Hey, Kate. Hi. Um, how small are the hexes? You know what? Just a guy. Go to, I don't know. I don't know because I'm not teaching the patchwork part. I'm doing all the history and the culture and the fun sort of context of it uh, because that's what this is all about is we, we're going to teach you that, you know, uh, Jenny will teach you that uh, uh patchwork stuff I'll give you a brief lecture about 30 minutes on the quilts of the period and like what it was to make a quilt at that time and a lot about the Brontes um, and then you'll see the video of us at the parsonage you'll see the quilt you know yourself there in the video and we took a walk on the moors a walk on the moors I can't do a Yorkshire accent it is so hard it's so hard um, just a guy, I just want to tell you that the um, pattern, all the instructions and everything, obviously you'll get at the workshop. I don't think that they've, you know, put them out, you know, yet. I think, you know, it's that's part of the workshop thing is that you get the pattern. But I can tell you that they're not, well, they're not not small. <laughs> I mean, they're, whoop, they, they're, they're, let me see. Okay, if I was going to, okay, here, I've got chips, right? We just have chips here. It's just a thing that we do. Um, I would say, I mean, here's a chip. Okay, here's a chip. I would say that this chip, and, and for scale, like here's my hand, okay? The hexes are a little smaller than that. But I, yeah, I think they're a little bit, a little bit, uh, they're not large, but they're not minuscule either. I mean, I was surprised at how big the quilt is. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, so the workshop, but, but they have all these wonderful, um, wonderful paintings and things that they did. And so I wanted to show you one because it's just wonderful. And there's also this room. I mean, this is a sneak peek. You know, I don't know if I should show you this or not, but I am. So this is the living room of the house. Okay. And this is the room 
where they wrote. I mean, they wrote all of the books here. I mean, the, the some of you know the Brontes. One of them had a governess job at one point, and and one of them, uh, uh, Charlotte, went to Brussels for a spell. Um, another one, I think, had some kind of employment somewhere for a brief time. But m they spent most of their lives at the parsonage with their brother Branwell, who had a tragic end. They all had a tragic end. It's it's tragic. But um, but they wrote their books, you know here. And this was the table where they, <laughs> good, good. Don't be afraid. Jenny is a wonderful teacher. She will take you through. She could teach you any hexy, anytime. And you'd be like, this is a cinch. So they wrote their books uh, in this room and I learned wonderful things like Emily, who wrote um, Jane Eyre. Yeah. She sat here, probably. They're pretty sure this was her seat. Um, I took more pictures and we have video, but this is, this is the teaser. So she probably sat here. She drew little sketches of like her perspective at the table. And this makes sense from where she was. Um, CB, CB, you're good. I'm still, I'm going on about the Brontes. Hey, Amy. Oh yeah, I said hi. Okay. Um, and there's an E carved into the table, like, like right in here. It's way cool. And what what they would do is they would walk around the table to like read passages. Molly, I'm sure that you're like ah, about this. Walk around the table like reading passages to each other um, or maybe just to think through some stuff. Isn't that cool that they're like walking around in there? And actually, another tidbit, Emily died in this room. There's a settee behind K here, um, and that was the, that was like the chaise where she passed away. I mean, it's just amazing. It's remarkable. Um, yeah, I can't I can't believe how, you know, how beautiful it all is, really, and how I don't know. It's just it's just a it's a great museum, and it's like a. Um, yeah, it's a time capsule and it's fascinating that these writers made a quilt. So we're going to tell you all about it much more than I've told you now. And um, yeah, and th that's it. Oh yeah, and the last thing on my lap here is for anybody who's interested in, I don't know, the Brontes, the workshop. You know, I read Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre. I loved them both so much. I never read them. Most of the people in the chat have read the books. Um, I'm a little behind the times but um but but this is Shirley okay this is Shirley and this was uh written by Anne Bronte I bought this at at the gift shop of course and she she said would you like me to stamp it that it came from the Parsonage Museum and I was like yes I would so that's kind of neat and uh there's this really cute little uh, little gal who does book reviews on YouTube. I can't think of her name. I'm new to her channel, but um, she does book reviews. She's really young. And I was searching for different Bronte stuff, and I, that's how I came across her. And she says, I'm asked all the time, you know, what my favorite book of all time is. She's read, like, everything. A real bookworm. She said, and I, I have a favorite book of all time, and it is Shirley. Oh, by Charlotte. Sorry, sorry. I said Anne. By Charlotte Bronte. Now, I hadn't even heard of Shirley. But what's very interesting about Shirley, aside from it being like, you know, this, this, this person's, you know, favorite, favorite book of all time, which is just kind of a big deal, frankly, because she's such a well-read person. Um, it's about, she says that it's about the time period in England, and this was over a long amount of time, but like the textile um, uh, industry in England, you know, transformed the world. There's a wonderful book called um, Empire of Cotton. It's like this thick and it's magnificent talking about the history of, you know, cotton production in, in the world, basically. And so, you know, cotton textile production in England was just like really world changing because they were producing um, 
textiles, you know, cotton and all kinds of textiles more rapidly all the time because of the industrial revolution and all of that technology, you know, and there's blood on their hands, right? You know, anyone who was doing any kind of innovation in the industrial revolution, it's complicated, right? Because to do all of that progress, you have to, you have to, um, a lot of people, a lot of people get hurt along the way, right? Um, in, in many different respects. Anyway, um, Shirley takes place during that kind of period where England is, this is from what I understand, where England is um, uh, really becoming more technologically advanced in the textile um, business. Uh, I assume in, in the Yorkshire area, because the, the ladies wrote um, uh, books that took place in Yorkshire where they were from. And you know, you, you know how you hear about the Luddites and, you know, we call somebody who's not um, technologically savvy, like, Ugh, what a Luddite, or I'm not a Luddite, you know, but I didn't have a Twitch account, you know, or I feel like such a Luddite, I didn't have a Twitch account till 2021, which would be me. Well, the Luddites were like, I, I'm going to read the book and I, I can't remember exactly, but Luddites were like weavers. They were, they were, they were like cottage industry, independent manufacturers of textiles. And, you know, the Luddites smashed the looms. They smashed like the big looms of the companies that were building these, you know, factories and these, um, um, you know, sort of huge productions, uh, huge um, uh, industrial uh, cotton producing, textile producing companies. They would go in and smash the looms, you know. And so this term Luddite has come from that. And I think, I'm not sure we can look up Luddite and make sure we know where the name came from, if they were from a place that had, you know, a similar name or, or whatnot. But these, these people went and smashed the looms. And I always thought like, when I heard that before, I always thought like, oh, what provincial minds, you know, like, oh, that was so, you know, close minded of them. And like, oh, they just couldn't handle progress. But the thing is, is that those big companies and those big factories were ruining their livelihood. I mean, they were trying to protect their ability to make a living. Hey, Sisisco. Hey, everybody. Yeah, I know. Isn't it fascinating? Um, provenance stamp. Yes, yes. Um, so, so the Luddites were, you know, whether it was good or not to smash, you know, the looms, they definitely had an argument that like, it wasn't that they were against progress. It was that the way it was all happening was, was, you know, their families were starving, basically. So apparently, Shirley takes place in that time. In fact, why don't I just read the back? And by the way, if you're new here, I promised you that I would tell you what this is all about and why it's called Quilt Church, unofficially. And uh, and that is, that's what we're going to do. But this is how the show is. The show is chatting. We're talking. And we just, I mean, there's just no time limit. So if we don't get to church on time, that's okay. There's no time. There's no time like the present. Okay, so here's the back of Shirley. I'm going to read this, okay? Oh, wow. Okay, great. <clears throat> Struggling manufacturer. What if I got this like totally wrong? I don't think so, but we're about to find out. Struggling manufacturer, Robert Moore. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. This is the way it is. I have to figure out when it, we have to know when it was written, right? Like that's really, really important. Um... Sorry, it was first published in 1849. Charlotte outlived Anne and Emily. Anyway, okay, 1849. Struggling manufacturer Robert Moore has introduced labor-saving machinery to his Yorkshire mill, yes. arousing a ferment of unemployment and discontent among his workers. Robert considers marriage to the wealthy and independent Shirley Kildar to solve his financial woes. Yet his heart lies with his cousin Caroline, <gasps> his cousin. who, bored and desperate, lives as a dependent in her uncle's home with no prospect of a career. Shirley, meanwhile, is in love with Robert's brother. Oh boy, what a crack up. Um, Shirley is in love with Robert's brother, an impoverished tutor. Oh, yes. A match opposed by her family. As industrial unrest builds to a potentially fatal pitch, 
can the four be reconciled? Set during the Napoleonic Wars at a time of national economic struggles, Shirley is an unsentimental yet passionate depiction of conflict between classes, sexes, and generations. In her introduction, Lucasta Miller, hmm, I think she, yeah, I, she did another thing for another Bronte book. Um, Lucasta discusses Charlotte Bronte's life at the time she wrote Shirley, and the novel's tone, language, and treatment of social and political issues, especially the woman question and industrial tensions. This edition also includes further reading, an appendix, and notes. So this is very interesting because Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's exactly what I said. Thank goodness. Um, it's very thick, and it's interesting. I think I think both of her sisters had passed when Charlotte was writing Shirley. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Um, oh, good, Cynthia. I'm gonna tell you more about that and the thing. And and if I I want to read Shirley, I don't know if I can get it done in two weeks before the. Ugh before the workshop, I don't know. So, um, check off the Bronte stuff. If you haven't signed up, go to bronte.com, no, go to quiltfolk.com, click on workshop, you get all the stuff there, okay? Um, so if you're new and you're like, what is happening? What is happening? Um, if you want to ask the people in the chat, they will be happy to tell you because they, a lot of them have been here and are back, you know? So that's good, <laughs> that's good. It means that there's something here worth, worth uh, some content here worth staying around for. Um, I love quilts, I really, I really love them. I love them because wherever you look, there are quilts and like in every country, it seems everywhere, there are textiles that are pieced together, let's call it that. And there are textiles that um, have at least two layers that are stitched together uh, for warmth or for decorative purposes, um, to sleep on, to sleep under. And for me, you know, the textile is just like, I don't know, as I said last time, I've said it many times, um, you know, we're sort of, we're born and we're wrapped in cloth and we wear cloth all our lives everyone does a little bit a lot you know but we wear textiles and then when we die you know they pull the, the shroud over us right <clears throat> and so textiles are just it, it's odd that there's something so necessary and close to our humanity right that is not a, a living thing you know cloth is is not a living thing, but it can certainly feel that way when you have a quilt made by someone who loves you or, you know, a favorite sweater or whatever. So, so, um, I really, I really love quilts because they are, um, they are records and they are art and they show, they show humanity in this really, really great way. I love architecture, you know, I love, um, I love you know, music, okay, but like, I love architecture and I do love fashion and all that, but, but there's not really an object that to me is so, like, even weird. The quilt is pretty weird. Like, how much should a quilt cost? I, I don't know. It, it's really hard to say. Um, you know, it's, a, it's priceless if, you're, if your beloved mother made it for you and, and it's, it's just not worth that much if you try to sell it at, you know, I mean, an art gallery won't hang it, you know, unless it's really special. A museum doesn't want it. Sorry, but they don't. And and yet, you know, the idea that you would throw it away is like heartbreaking. So that's crazy. Like, what is the value of a quilt? I love thinking about it and I love researching that. Um, oh, I'll show you another picture that I've queued up. Dink. Ah, how about that? You know, there's um, hey, just a guy. I'm glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. Um, this is, you know, Paul McCartney. Have you seen that picture? I hadn't seen that picture till a couple years ago. I wish I had a better, you know, quality picture of it. Hmm. Better resolution, but, but I don't. But look at him. <laughs> there he is, you know. Um, I don't know what, I've never thought about what, what action he's making there. I don't know if he's saying hello or if he's doing some weird 
culturally questionable thing. I'm not sure, but you know, quilts are not just, and don't get the chat, you know, started on this because we all feel a certain way about this idea that, you know, quilts are something that, you know, just older people do or quilts are things that, that, you know, are, are, they're objects made by people who are bored, you know, or that they, or that they don't have anything more to offer than being a blanket. Like don't call a quilt a blanket. If you're, if you're another nerd coming in here just to be around fellow nerds, that's just a rule. Don't call it a blanket. Um, I don't know. It, it is a blanket, but it's so much more than that. But in fact, the quilt is everywhere, right? It's everywhere. It's fashionable. It's in fashion. It's, um, very much in fashion now, as we've talked about before. It's just, there's just a lot going on with the quilt um, culturally. And I just love that. And I think in the quilt world, you know, as such, you know, the big industry of quilts and the big, um, you know, the guilds and the shows and the contests and the, you know, conventions and, and everything, the patterns and the websites and the magazines and all that, it, it can feel kind of insular actually after a while. And that's fine because we have this thing that we love and there's this whole subculture of that thing. Um, but some years ago, I started to really, really like understand, I think, or, or at least I, I saw that I could try to try to understand the meaning of quilts a little bit more beyond the patterns and the, the, um, I mean, yeah, the workshops and all that. That's why the Bronte workshop to me is like really exciting. It's why I want to do it. You know, it's something a little bit different. Um, but there are quilts in, you know, in in music. John Mayer, you know, um, Maura Ambrose made a quilt for John Mayer for his album. We should look at all that stuff. Yeah, um, I, ha I have a little menu for us tonight, but uh, you see, so, I, you know, you think of one thing, you look at Paul McCartney and his quilt here. Gosh, I wonder. Oh, it says, I never noticed that. Look, it says Paul McCartney. Look, look, it's embroidered with his name. <gasps> Did you see that? Did you see that? Hey, Michigan. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for coming. Um, Susan, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm wondering if I'm missing a little bit of the chat, you guys. I don't know. If I am, I'm really sorry. I I'm seeing things come into the chat, but but if uh, but if I miss something, I'm really sorry. Sometimes my player doesn't do the thing that it, it I want it to do. As long as you can see stuff, I'm okay. Um, so yeah, that's his that's his name there. Like, where is this quilt? I would sure like to know surely surely like to know um no no i don't want you to see that yet that's something i have queued up um so where is this quilt what is this quilt you know we, we love to see it right we love to see it and so 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 quilt church right we I mentioned that before <laughs> and someone said that the other day and i just love it i love it i'm sure some people will you know maybe think that's not so appropriate because I don't know. I mean, what, what do you, let's get, let's get the, uh, the dictionary up here. Look, you see that? I, I did it right. <laughs> oh, I just hate that thing. I got my little thing. I show it off every time. One day I'll just be like, oh, da -da 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 -da, and I won't, I won't really get so excited to show you, but you see it worked. That's the thing. Sometimes it doesn't go on the right screen, but I'm going to press the dictionary button. There's my dictionary. Um, what is church? Church. Um, da -da 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 a building. Okay, probably this first one is what we want. A building used for public Christian worship. Well, hmm, interesting. Well, I kind of thought we would have like you know a structure. Well, yeah, building used for public Christian work worship. Okay, you know, a structure in which people go, you know, people worship inside this particular structure. Okay, so so to say that this is quilt church, some people might find a little distasteful and, you know, a little not respectful, but I, a lot of people who go to, to church are okay with quilts. So if it was like something 
other than quilt church, maybe we'd have a problem. But I think, you know, quilt church seems fair. And, and, and I do think that this show, which is unusual and probably different from what a lot of people, um, well, it is different from stuff that we get in the quilt world. Um, it's not, it's, it's live and there's live things, of course, but it's live. Um, it's open-ended. It's not like a 30 minute video. Um, it's as long as we want to have it be as long as I can, you know, continue. Um, I have a little bit of a plan at the beginning, but we just kind of see what happens. You know, we go from, you know, Paul McCartney to, you know, from the Brontes to Paul McCartney to, oh, look at that, that I unearthed <laughs> from my ar archives. This is a photo, uh, thanks to Jonathan Holstein, um, uh, this is, this is, this is Frankenstein from the still from the movie, right? I mean, uh, whoa, <laughs> wow. He's on a pillow. That's a quilt. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, if, if church is a place where you go and just like, I don't know, meditate, give, give thanks to something, you know, explore, you know, your faith or whatever, then this is kind of like quilt church. And it's different from content that you've seen before because, um, I don't know. I can't, I can't, I, I learn all this stuff. I like this stuff and, um, oh good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I learn all this stuff about quilts and I'm always looking around and finding different things and looking for stuff and people send me things too. uh, quilt tips, you know, I saw a quilt here. I read about this cool thing there. And the only time I really get to share it with you until this stream is I would give a lecture, you know, I would, I would lecture to your guild perhaps, or I would give a lecture at quilt con, you know, or somewhere out on the road. And I get like 50 minutes and I always go over and I don't think I can keep doing that because I really like the modern quilt guild and Elizabeth Daxon is awesome. And I keep going over, which isn't cool, but I just, <laughs> I just have a lot to say from year to year and there's never enough time to say it. Um, so this Twitch thing is like kind of cool. And in, in terms of, you know, the platform itself, you know, why Twitch, there's YouTube, there's Instagram. Twitch is just, it's what Twitch does. It's live streaming, uh, only. And they just have some cool things to offer uh, me as a creator and you as a viewer. I'm figuring that out more all the time. Figured out subscriptions. Hey, there's a plug for subscriptions. I am working on the subscription plan. But if you subscribe to my stream at $4.99, you do not have to watch ads. And personally, as a viewer of anything, I would go for that because I hate ads a lot. And I'm sorry that they even have to be there but Twitch is making all of this possible. And I understand, I get it. Uh, so if you subscribed for $4.99, you don't have to watch ads. There are two other subscription tier levels. I don't know. I, I don't, I, <laughs> you, you're more than welcome to subscribe at those levels, but I have not figured out what you will get for that. So I do not anticipate any of those. Um, I would almost feel a little bit of pressure if you did. So, <laughs> oh God, what am I gonna do? Um, yeah, so let's do this, you know, let's, let's, let's see what, what happens and what I want to, um, what I want to figure out before I go on. Um, oh yeah. And, and make sure too, that you, you follow me. Uh, yeah. Click follow because when you do that, you can be alerted when I go live and, um, that's good. I will always stream Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Central and Saturdays at 4 p.m. Central. I think I said that. I think that's all the biz. I think that's all the biz. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I almost want to do the thing where I say I'll be right back and make sure I got my chat going before we jump in because I just kind of feel like there's probably questions about the Frankenstein and uh, I definitely want to check that out. So I think I'll do it. Um, hang on one second. We did all the, the business. I'm going to say I'll be right back and I will be right back and everything will be fine.
Okay, so I'll be right back. Get some chips. I got a lot for you. I got a lot for you because we're going to talk about movies. We are going to talk about movies. Quilts in movies. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back.
Oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, I'm back, I'm back. I think I got it. It was like pushed, pushed the thing. Okay, okay. I got it back and I can tell you what I was gonna say. Um, it was, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Um, <laughs> oh well. Um, so what I, what I was saying and uh, I was reading the chat. And so, and so, so what happened? <laughs> What happened was I was reading back through the chat, <laughs> reading back through the chat. And now Carol, so now you have to hear what I said about you. I was talking about you in the chat. I was saying hello to Ruby. I was saying uh, that uh, everyone is amazing and that if I miss you, I can remember like almost everything I said, which is good. Um, if I missed you uh, coming in, it is not because I, you know, just don't have the time, you know, to say hi. It's that the more people who come in the chat, which is very interesting, I mean, it is very, very good, um, but it's um, it's hard to for me to, to see everybody and, and, you know, do the thing I'm doing. So I apologize if I don't say hi to you right away or if I miss you, but I am, I really want to. Um, and then, and then, uh, oh, okay, and Susan, you mentioned Lucian Freud. I need you to keep that in mind because I, I want I want to know more about I want anytime somebody has a reference of like a painting or a movie where they've seen a quilt appear. This is why the more people that are in the chat, you know, the better the show gets. It's just awesome. Um, and then, OK, so I talked about Carol when the mic was muted. Um, because I don't know if you noticed what Carol said. She said Frankenstein's monster is a quilt. Carol comes into the chat, you know, not she's not in the chat constantly, right? But when you come in, Carol, you just like drop these like brilliant, you know, bombshell kinds of things like that. It's just awesome. Frankenstein's monster is a quilt, a thousand percent. Um, so that's one of the things I said. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like a silent film. <sighs> hey, Laura Mac. Thanks for subscribing. That is so cool. I am glad. Oh, and for six months. That's awesome. We're going to be here. I mean, I love doing this thing. So it's it's happening. Um, and and let's see. And there was something else uh, that Carol said. Yes. And Carol said regarding the sound problem, she'll figure it out shortly. <laughs> Thank you. See, the thing is when I put that screen on that I'll be right back, I mute the mic because what if I start hacking away, you know, what if I go to the bathroom or something? If the mic's on, I don't think it goes on when I'm doing that I'll be back screen, but what if it did? You know, everybody wants their Zoom muted when they're not talking. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So like, ugh. so I muted it and I forgot. You're just warped. Carol Hempel is warped. Somehow, well, maybe I do believe it. All right, all right, all right. So Frankenstein, so I saw that and I was like, quilts in movies. We should talk about quilts in movies. So let's do it. And I, um, warped is good. I went to my little folder, my little file folder to, to, to pull up my, my, my folder of the quilts that I've seen in movies. I take screenshots of them, you know, but I'll show you what happened. It was not good. It was not good. It was bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was very, very bad. Um, some file errors had occurred or something. So I'll show you what I, what I'm left with in this folder. It's terrible. Um, so this is the power of Quilt Church. Um, oh yeah, yeah, and that's, that's, I knew there was one other thing that I said when no one could hear me that was important. And who said it? Who said it? We worship quilts, you know? Like regarding this Quilt Church idea, someone said we worship quilts. And I love that. Um, hey, Nori. Hey, Nori. Um, there are, there, 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 there. there are a lot of people in here, which is really lovely. And I hope everything is going okay here. Um, 
and and quilts quilts we do sort of worship them we do worship them we love who makes them we lo- you know we love the people who make them we love the quilts that they make and so it is kind of a worshipful thing worshipful thing you know um okay so let me go here mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all right this is okay all happening great a little bit of a bit of a technical day it's fine it's fine so i'm gonna go to my little folder here Hmm. Well, it says that I'm, I'm offline. Is that true? Would that be true? Okay. Hang on. I'm not. I'm not going to mute the mic this time. Hang on. Shit. Really offline, eh? Shit. Hmm. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't know. When I uh, opened my um, Google Drive, it was like, you're offline. Some functionality may be unavailable. I don't like that. I don't know. So, 
here's what I here. So here's I'm so, uh, I'm so glad nothing happened. Um, so here's what I found when I opened my quilts in movies um, folder, and this this is what it was. And this is not a technical difficulty kind of thing. This is somehow, well, it's technical difficulty, but it's not like because something's wrong with my internet. It's a problem because, um, thank you. Yeah, I'm back. Oh. We are going to hopefully, I mean, Eric's amazing. He's been talking to everyone in this building about like getting high speed, fast, fast internet thing. And so far everybody's like thumbs up with it. That should be coming. When it does, I will, you will know. It will be like, oh, like, hmm. you'll have to tell me to, tell me to shut down this computer. Um, and so I apologize, thank you, thank you. It is still early in all of this uh, streaming thing for me. And Eric's not here at the moment to help. So this is what I got. Now, you know, sometimes you upload things to your Google Drive or, Dropbox, I hate Dropbox so much, and you'll upload things and then you want it later and the file's corrupted or something, right? So I have a few, I think I have another folder of like screenshots of quilts that I saw in movies. Um, but here in this Google Drive, I don't know what those were because the file's corrupted. Here I can see Annie Hall. Annie Hall is here. Um, there was a quilt that I spied when I was watching Annie Hall, probably for the 90 billionth time, you know. Um, and and so we'll load here. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know that um, some of you have quilts to share as well that have appeared in movies, and I really want to um, to know what those are. Uh, Kramer versus Kramer was mentioned. Um, let me pull this down here, make sure we're gonna be okay. Um, Kramer versus Kramer and, and Baby Boom. I've got a really good one from, from Baby Boom. Um, let's see here, yeah, okay. Quilts in movies. What was, what was another one that, well, how to make an American quilt. Somebody was mentioning that and, um, and I was thinking at some point, and I have to figure out I have to figure out when, okay, I found this one at least, we can look at this. I, I have to figure out when it's okay to, um, there's baby boom, when it's okay to watch a movie, you know, uh, um, and react to it and, and not be in copyright infringement. Um, because you can do that. You can do that on uh, YouTube. If you, I mean, you can watch other YouTube videos I know that and react to them. If your content is transformative, that's what they say. If your content is transformative, then it, you know, you can watch a thing that you didn't make and comment on it and not be and not get a copyright strike, okay? And if you get 3 copyright strikes uh in at YouTube, I know, they they will take down your channel. I think it's true also, yeah, for Instagram, like if you try to upload um, uh, like, you know, naked pictures or something like that. Here's my Annie Hall. If you try to like upload naked pictures or, you know, do in inappropriate things, um, yeah, Baby Boom. I love the movie Baby Boom. We're going to talk about it. Um, if you try to, uh, you know, abuse the, the terms of the social media contract, right, they can completely take away your Instagram account just for like three, like three strikes and you are out. But I want to figure out the rules for Twitch and YouTube since all of these Twitch streams are uploaded to YouTube. Um, I want to watch how to make an American quilt with you all and react to it as we watch it, you know, where like we stop the video and talk about what's happening, <laughs> you know, and then go back and watch more, you know, just like a live watch party, basically. Um, let's, and let's watch the preview. Lord, please just don't make the internet bad, please. Um, we can watch the YouTube, uh, I mean, <laughs> we can watch on the YouTube, the preview of how to make an American quilt tonight. I think that would be really fun or today. So anyway, so I pulled up baby boom. So you would have something to look at other than my spinning, 
uh, spinning wheel of death. Isn't that what they called it? The spinning wheel of death when your computer is loading. So this is Annie Hall. Look at Annie Hall. And Annie Hall is, I mean, it's a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of women in particular. Uh, I have, I have known, um, Annie Hall's like one of their very favorite movies, you know? Um, Michelle, hi, I think I said hi to you before, but, um, Annie Hall is like the most stylish woman ever, right? Like she's got that big hat and her cool, she wore like sort of menswear kind of deal. I mean, Annie Hall is a fashion icon, right? And Annie Hall has a quilt on her bed. So that's like pretty cool, man. So there's a quilt in Annie Hall and I was really happy to see it. Okay click out. Yeah, Baby Boom. And what's interesting about Baby Boom, that there's a quilt on a wall here. Let's see. Let's see when Baby Boom was made. And it was definitely in the 80s, right? It was definitely in the 80s. Um, because um, Diane Keaton, you know, she's, she's, a young, well, she's, you know, she's like a 30 something year old woman or something. Okay. 1987. I thought so. I was going to say 1987. I love baby boom. It's like one of my, best, my favorite movies of all time. Same thing with my younger sister. Um, oh, it's so great. Maybe we could just watch baby boom, you know, and do a, a watch party reaction party to that. I just want to watch baby boom so we could watch it together. Um, but this quilt up on the wall, it's interesting because in 1987, you know, the art quilt thing was going on, but also like the, the quilt thing was like, you know, people were, people were into quilts. There were lots of quilts, like, like I'm just thinking about like dealers, you know, s buying and selling quilts. Ralph Lauren was doing his quilt fashion stuff. I Was it 84? I just want to see. We talked about this the other day. Ralph Lauren quilt gloves. Oh, fashion, 1980s. I have to put 1980s because Ralph Lauren has done plenty of other um, quilt fashion things over the years. Um, but yeah, quilts were, quilts were hip, you know? So the fact that she has, and that looks, it, it's antique. I think it's wool. I mean, to me, it looks like wool. And I also think it looks like, and I remember watching the movie and trying to get lots of different pictures of it um it looks like very tiny you know those really thin um courthouse steps you know like really thin pieces but would that be wool yeah yeah I think I think that's what I, what we're looking at I can't be totally sure but I think so um so that's baby boom okay Oh, and that's Frankenstein. We know that. Okay, yeah, here's my little folder. That's great. Oh, is this... Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, look at her. Oh, God. I, just... I think I was just furiously trying to get screenshots. I love this woman. I love I love her. She's so good in Baby Boom, isn't she? She's so good. Okay. Let's see what this one is. Oh! What about Bob? Do I have that right? I've got that right. Don't I? What about Bob? I think so. I think I do. Um, that's that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Um, I'm gonna find Kramer versus Kramer, too. And if you're putting uh, putting suggestions up in the chat, I'm gonna I'm gonna see them in just a minute. I'm sure that that will happen. Oh, what is this? This is postcards from the edge. Okay, postcards from the edge. But I was I don't have the quilt here. There's a quilt on the bed here. I'm going to have to get it. I'm going to have to find it. Oh, that I know what that is. Okay. So I'm going to go to, uh, postcards from the edge and look and look again. Uh, and that's little house on the prairie. Isn't that a sad little picture? Kind of a sad little picture. Um, <laughs> but obviously lots of quilts in, um, little house on the prairie, right? Okay. Um, and then this, I found this, this isn't movies, but it's, uh, yeah, it's music. I mean, we talked about Paul McCartney. That's Courtney Love. Look at that quilt on the bed next to like the cigarette butts and, you know, drug paraphernalia. It's crazy.
crazy, right? Um, <laughs> Let me see here. I'm just gonna kind of do some do some stuff. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Okay, great. Oh, Groundhog Day. It was Groundhog Day. Oh, good. Okay. Um, Groundhog Day. You're right. You're right. You're right. Who said that? Sibby. Sibby Max said it. Um, the Brit Show. There's Susan. The Brit Show, Utopia, uh, had them all over, but also old, old shows have them too. That's a really good point, Susan. Um, Yes, Nori, I can explain the subscription system. Absolutely. And I want to not forget that. So if I seem to be, you know, winding things up or down or whatever, and I haven't talked about it, I shall. Um, Nori subscribed. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. You don't have to watch ads now. That's good. And you'll have more. There will be more stuff. There will be more. Why don't I just talk about it right now? Um, <laughs> you subscribe without even, you know, getting the full... Well, I don't have a pitch yet, but but the um, the subscription thing is it's cool on Twitch. You can do four ninety nine a month, where you don't have to watch ads. Uh, Nine ninety nine a month, which I'll have a package available soon of like what that means and what you get, and and then there's twenty four ninety nine. And I think I think for twenty four ninety nine, if anyone actually subscribes at that level, I think there should be a lottery, and somebody like gets like to come with me on a trip for quote folk to like a foreign country. <laughs> it's just a lot of money. Do I, I mean, that's like, yeah. Anyway, someone out there just has buckets of money that they don't know what to do with. And they're probably gonna, you know, um, but, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The, the subscriptions are, are, as you know, now you just, you buy them through Twitch and, and you get to have cool stuff like special emotes. Like I can make little emoticons for us to use. And, and um, one thing I wanna ask you all about is um, if you would like, would you like to sew together? Cause I was thinking, I told Eric today, like I really wanna sew with someone. <laughs> and what if, what if like, I don't know, I think Saturday night might be, it'll be a regular show. But what if like Sunday, because Eric's going to be gone on Sunday, uh, briefly. Um, and well, I mean, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be on my own on Saturday. And I was wondering if you might want to, want to do that. If like I put a, I could put a camera on what I'm sewing, which is some hand sewing. And so that you could see what I was working on and then you could see my face and I could watch the chat and we can just, you know, we can like sew together. I think that could be fun. I mean, who knows? It might be super, it might be something that's really great and like people really like that. And so then I could do that too on this channel, you know? And if nobody comes and nobody likes it and nobody stays, well, then I'll know. If it's really great, then something like that could be like something that you get for nine ninety nine. is like, you know, sewing, sewing for members only, you know, and like we just sew together like a few times a month and it's like a special thing. And you can only do it. You can only come to the party if you subscribe, that kind of stuff, you know? Um, oh yeah, yeah. And there's, there's a, hey Mary. Oh, I mean, hey Star Sundance. Um, yes to sewing. Okay, right on, right on. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting, that's just groundhog. Okay, okay. I'm Catching up. Yeah. Okay. Sewing sounds good. Sewing sounds good. Quilting politic. <laughs> you want to visit other countries? Same. Um, quiltish. Hey, quiltish. Yes, yes, yes. Sewing. Okay, good. Like a quilt church guild. <gasps> Ooh, we should, well, I mean, th that opens up so, so many possibilities, right? Of like, what do we call ourselves? Like the nuns. No, <laughs> we don't have to call ourselves the nuns. But yeah, I mean the church, the quilt church thing does open up a lot of possibilities for like not branding, but like if someone gets, you know, if I make a special emoticons that you get, cause it's like a Twitch thing. When you subscribe, you get like special emoticons and, and all this stuff, you know, I, you could put like little churches in the chat, you know, if you really love something or, or we can call ourselves, you know, the habits or quilt church. It's a habit. Oh, 
Like we, you know, we love streaming, you know, qu quilt church. It's just, it's become a habit. <laughs> um, Quilty Nancy working on a Lone Star. I love that. That's awesome. Dear Jane. Yes. Totally worth the subscription. Yes. A flea market quilt. Michelle. That's awesome. The devotees. <gasps> the devotees. I'm going to make, yeah, I'll, let's, we'll just brainstorm a whole bunch of those at the end of the, end of the stream. Okay. We'll just brainstorm all that stuff. Oh, and the chat, the chat is slow. It's like, it's terrible because I'm speaking into the, the void and I just, it's really, ugh, I just like to be around you. It's, it's really scary. Um, okay. So Courtney Love. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's just Courtney, 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 Courtney. Um, but she had a quilt on her bed. Very interesting. So now let's see if we can get our own, you know, I didn't talk to you about, so, so it's a yes to the sewing. Let me get my post-it note and say sewing Sunday, question mark on Twitch. Cause I'll be sewing anyway, you know, on, on Twitch exclamation point. I think that'd be great. I think it'd be great. I don't know. You don't know until you try. It's kind of how I feel about this whole thing. We didn't, I didn't tell you about the quilt that I have on my desktop tonight. That's another thing that's starting to become a thing, you know, it's like I have a different quilt up on my desktop. I'm going to tell you about it, but if we don't talk more about movies, y'all are going to be, be like really upset. <laughs> oh, Carol found the church. This is so much fun. Durst me, you having fun? Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm a little... You just want to have people come when you throw a party, you know, and it's like, you came, you came here. It's really great. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Kramer ver now. Okay. So now this is, this is where things get, um, you know, interesting for, I mean, they get maybe unusual in terms of like, what is this show? Because so far I've been showing you things that I, that I have, you know, that I'm, that I've sort of prepared or like, you know, because the internet didn't work. It's nice that I have a bunch of stuff on my hard drive and I could pull, could pull something up. But now we do which, what is sort of the heart of all of this. Actually, it's not just me telling you things that I know or hoping to God that I am right. <laughs> when I'm like sort of guessing like, you know, is that the plot of Shirley? I did hear that, right? You know, didn't I? Like, yes, but I, but I want to learn with you. I want to learn stuff. And so let's find quilts in movies. You know, I want to know because I, I had that folder of quilts in movies and those screenshots were corrupted and I don't know what movies that they were. So, you know, I don't know what those are, but I also want to know from you what movies you've seen where quilts were featured, you know? And so now I'm just going to Google and that's kind of strange because it's like, well, we're just like Googling with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, oh, you love English paper piecing, eh? Well, hmm, that Bronte workshop would be you. Kramer versus Kramer. Now this is interesting because unless someone has, and it's very possible that someone has collected a, like on a blog or something, they've collected a bunch of pictures, like what we're doing now, you know, which would be great if we find like a quilt person who's, who's collected pictures of quilts in movies. So it would be wonderful. And we may find that when we hit enter. Um, Ooh, you've got mail. You've got mail, eh? Okay. I got to write this down. You've got mail. Now Kramer versus Kramer we're looking at. Oh yeah. And postcards. I got to try to find that. I think, oh, <gasps> look at that. Bang, wha-bang. Right there. Now, wait, that is a big deal. That is like, I searched Kramer versus Kramer quilt on set and it was just there. We didn't have to dig. That's a very, that's a very good, that's fabulous. That's fabulous. I love this. I love this. The Quilt Mafia. Oh, I love that. Our quilt group of military wives, says Sibby Mac, is called the Quilt Mafia. That's nice. Sometimes I say I'm from a Quilt Mafia family, you know? It's great. 
Quilters Mafia. It's a very good mix. Now I'm going to try with my little tools here on Google to see if we can have a high resolution photo of this because low res is the worst. Oh, Meryl. You know, I've never seen Sophie's Choice. I haven't. Okay, well that's not too bad. It's probably going to be pixelated just because it was taken from a movie. Kramer versus Kramer. I mean, that's a good movie. That's really what, it's a sad one, you know? It's really sad. Um, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that, I mean, that's what, that's what we're going to get. So let me just go back. Maybe there actually is a smaller resolution that is, that is better than that. I'm going to go any size, any size. Okay, I mean, maybe we watch Sophie's Choice. Okay, sorry, any size. Trench coat. Is there like a fabulous trench coat in Kramer versus Kramer? Obviously, because people are searching for it. This looks okay, this picture. I love Dustin Hoffman. Oh, I love him. I love him. I love that guy. He's really good. <laughs> He's really good. Someone asked, by the way, about the, um, in the stream starting soon screen, um, there was a, you know, it says quilt church will begin soon or start soon. And there's a picture of chips. And someone asked if I had a, had a uh, sponsor, you know, a chip sponsor, because it's just something we just do here. And um, no, but that's why I put it there is because if, you know, this Twitch channel is like, becomes an influencing kind of thing because we're having so much fun and quilters are like, I want to be part of that. And then chips are a thing. And I'm like, I love your chips, kettle chips. How about you underwrite the show? Not that it costs that much to make. I mean, we can get internet, new internet in the building. It would, but maybe, you know, maybe kettle chips will, will sponsor it, even though I'm giving them like advertising for free. So why would they, I should take that away. I should just take that chip picture away, but I won't. Okay. Open image and new tab. This is a pretty good picture. Actually Let me stop you have you here. Okay. All right. Mm. So it's ob so obviously it's, that's a great, that's great. I can save that picture. It's obviously a double wedding, wedding ring. Um, yellow, yellow and white. I love this quilt because I love scraps and I love, I love fabric. <laughs> so making just a two tone quilt is like really hard for me. Like a blue and white quilt is so effective, you know, but it's like, it, it's really hard to just make a quilt with two fabrics or even six fabrics. I made one quilt in my life that had like six fabrics in it. It was the closest I ever got to like a modern quilt you know, it was early on in like 08. It was one of the first quilts I ever made. And it had like a beige background and then just like four different colors of red for these stars. I was like, I don't know, man. I just don't think I can do it. I, I, I want to use more fabrics. So if I'm going to make a yellow and white quilt, I'm going to use a lot of different kinds of yellow in that quilt. You know, not just one yellow and white. I'll use a solid white or a solid whatever, and then a bunch of different scraps of the same same um, hue. You know, that's what I like. Um, Tootsie is my favorite movie. Durst me. Tootsie is my family's favorite movie. We can quote the entire thing and often do. Tootsie is my favorite movie. It's my favorite movie. Okay. Okay, so you've got mail. We got to look at you've got mail. You've got mail. Quilt on set. Mmm. Research Diva, hi. I don't think I've said hi to you yet. I don't know if you're new here or you're coming back. I love your name. And that is fabulous. That is a fabulous observation. That's like Carol saying Frankenstein's monster is a quilt. You have pointed out 
that in a movie about divorce, the quilt that they chose was double wedding ring. To me, this says there was a quilter working in that set, you know, on the movie, in the set department. Because that's, that's a deep cut, you know what I'm saying? That was smart. Okay, you've got mail right there. Right there. Have you seen Jenny Doan lately, by the way? Jenny Doan looks amazing. <laughs> I paused this program. I paused, uh, station break. You need, have you seen her? She has, she has been working on her fitness. I love Jenny Doan. She was really, you always remember the people who were nice to you, you know, like when you were like a spring chicken. And I mean, Jenny Doan is like, it's Jenny Doan. She's super intimidating. I mean, I don't know. She, I was intimidated by her when I met her because she's Jenny Doan and Missouri Star. And it's just, you know, they, the Missouri Star Quilt Company got the Small Business Award from Obama in like, I forget when. Um, yeah, Durst me. Um, she looks me. I just want to show you her, her latest. Um, it's probably Missouri probably Missouri Star, right? It might be Jenny's own page. I'm not sure. But, um, but she, she was, but she was so nice to me. And I did this little series for PBS or for the, yeah, it was called Quilting with the Stars. And anyway, she was one of the first guests on that. And I, I was really hosting it before I knew what the heck I was doing, but she came on and I interviewed her and we both like cried on the show a little bit. I was like, I love quilts and I, I want to do this, you know? And she was like, I love them too. And we just had a moment at the table and she was just so nice to me. And she's always been so nice to me and her family is awesome. Look, Jenny is just like, I, don't, I almost don't want to play the video because I don't want it to buffer or anything. But, but she, I mean, I don't know, you know, what made her, you know, kind of, get get started on all that and like do it but Jenny has lost a lot of weight I mean she she really has been focused on that and she's really she looks beautiful I think she looks beautiful I just liked one of her one of her photos um recently she she is looking amazing she's beautiful I mean she always is beautiful right but look at that look at Jenny anyway I should text her I'm just gonna drop drop that I can text Jenny down but I will text her. The last time I texted her was was when the you know all the Black Lives Matter George Foreman. I'm so sorry, George. Um, oh God, why did I do that? That's so terrible. George Floyd stuff was going on. Ugh. Live show, super. Um, when all that was going on, and Missouri Star made a statement, and and it was you know she took a lot of flack for that, and and I just was like Jenny, you know, you got a really good heart and you're awesome and and now I feel like I gotta tell her Jenny you're like a movie star you know I don't know she's just great she's always been great doesn't matter what you look like doesn't matter what weight you are doesn't matter but that that is some serious like that's that's it's just takes a lot of work you know it takes a lot of focus and she's she's awesome she really shows so good for you Jenny <sighs> it's great anyway okay all right Hey, it's Teresa. So you've got mail, quilt on set. Okay, and, and Natalie, she said uh, she told you that um, traveling was not good for her diet. That's true. She, you know, she retired, whatever Jenny Doan considers retiring, but it's true. She did, I think they sold the business, did they? Well, that's wonderful. She can focus on her health. What good is all the work you do, you know, if you're just like running yourself ragged? I know about that. Um, okay, Bip, I don't know if you're still here for me to say, say goodbye. And I, I apologize if you, if I missed you, it's great to see you always. And thanks for coming. Um, Natalie, yeah, tall and thin. I just think she's great. Oh, there's Jenny and, and I've taught you everything you know. You thought you were unteachable? Wow. Well... I felt like that before as well, in quilts and otherwise. Um, when Harry met Sally, I'm writing this down. I'm uh, catching up. When Harry met Sally. Um, yeah, okay, she she finally has time to start walking again. 
oh, it's COVID. Okay. Okay. She can't travel. So she's eating at home and healthier. Well, well, it is showing. Now there was another question up here. Natalie, do you think filmmakers add quilts to the set to give a true home credibility? I think that is very interesting. Of course, right? Like it makes, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it makes sense, doesn't it? Because once again, you know, for the, for the people in here who are like, why quilts? Are there anybody, are there, are there other nerds in here? Are there like Trekkies in here who are like, oh, look at these amazing people freaking out about quilts? If so, you know, this is a really good example of why quilts are very interesting objects. You know, it's like, gee, how do we make a home? You know, we, we're making a movie and we want to make a really, you know, cozy, comfortable, wholesome, wholesome, um, home like what's the essence of this you know home like well put a quilt on the couch you know put a quilt on the bed um and it's interesting we just saw Courtney Love you know was she wholesome I don't know she's a mother she loved her child you know loves her child everyone's a little bit wholesome some somewhere um and she had a quilt on her bed I don't know um but this is a really yeah it's an interesting point you know like when you're building a set, what can you put in the set to communicate? Yeah, Meg Ryan's like, I don't know, romantic dreams. <laughs> you do that. This is an interesting thing too. Okay. I have a question. Me before you. Me before you that that was a book is it a movie now was it a movie i missed it but look at the style of the bed and i mean everything from the frame that like the headboard to the quilt to the pillows ruffles ruffles and shams we talked about shams last time i love the quilt too dusty dusty rose but i think that well you know cottage core is a thing. I'm going to write that in here because um, I think we've talked about it, but cottage core is this, um, you know, is this trend right now and the quilt jacket is part of that trend and, and, and cottage core is like, um, you know, peasant dresses and, you know, a little bit of a puff sleeve if you see girls wearing, yeah, you know, the, the sort of not, it's not hippie. It's, it's like, yeah, little house on the prairie, right? The Waltons a little bit. And there's like fairy dresses and, um, the hair, you know, the hair is a little bit longer, very romantic. There's kind of a romantic thing going on. And, um, her mother was a central theme of You Got Mail. Interesting, interesting. Um, so, so, yeah, so this cottage core thing is, is in, and some people say, you know, well, it, some people say that it's, it's because the pandemic has, was, you know, kept us inside, has still, still is keeping us inside. And the cottage core look is all about nature and being outside and like, Know, running with a bonnet on your head, you know, through the field or something and, and quilts and home and safety and, you know, romance, right? In the classical sense, <laughs> the romance of, of, of the thing. But also, I think, and I'm sure this has been said by other people more eloquently, but, you know, the minimalist, like, you know, design sort of zeitgeist thing that we've been dealing with for a long time, like, you know, crate and barrel. It's just very, like, sparse and you know you have like a bud vase and like a single little bud and you have you know the low couch made of leather and some chrome and stuff which you know I really like that look but it is a bit cold you know and so now after being in our houses you know for so long and staying home more than ever still um I think people are like reacting to that and I think you know everything shifts, comes and goes. Hemlines go up, hemlines go down. People are into, uh, yeah, yeah, they're into this, this kind of music and then it switches and they're into that kind of music. You know, people are like that. 
And I think that this kind of style of bed, this bedding thing, I mean, it's just around the corner, right? I mean, we're already doing, you know, the quilt coat and stuff. And trends do take a while to, to change. Once they're really here, you know, like it'll, I think, I think ruffles and mixed prints and quilts and pattern sheets, you know, shams, dust ruffles. I think this is how it's going to happen. The Laura Ashley 80s, you've got mail kind of thing. I know this is like the 90s, right? But yeah, it's interesting. Parquet wood floor. Love it. I have that in my home in Chicago and I really kind of miss it. Terms of endearment. Oh, you all are just like rocking it. Terms of endearment. Deborah Winger. Oh, Log Cabin Girl says Deborah Winger had a quilt on her hospital bed. For real. City of Angels. Uh, why is Meg Ryan in all these movies with quilts in them? Yes, Susan. Sabrina. Sabrina Geschwender. The film quilts. We talked about that the other the other day. Um Yeah, we talked about that the other you you all you all might remember this. I don't know, it's been it's been a little while ago, but um Sabrina Geschwender is the artist who makes fine art, you know, makes quilts with film, with strips of film. I'll let it load and then we'll take a look. Okay. Um, all right. So, so what's, what's on, I mean, who said it first postcards from the edge? Well, that was one when, when Harry met Sally, when Harry met Sally. Yeah. Okay. So, so you've got Meg Ryan, when Harry met Sally, you've got mail city of angels quilts, all these quilts. These are the film quilts and I'll just drop another name. Sabrina and I, um, we have talked many times. She is, she is really great. She's a great artist and she is a great gal and she has work at MoMA now. You see this, um, Susan, thanks for mentioning it. Um, I'll put this link in the chat because you should read it. You should know more about her, but she lives in LA and she has work at MoMA and she has work at, you know, everywhere. Um, I have to, I mean, gotta catch up with, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, really? Really? You're going to block me like that? Are you really? Ugh. Maybe it'll load and it'll let me, well, I, okay. So I put the, I put the link in the chat and if it doesn't let you click out of this dumb thing. Yeah, I don't think it will. It doesn't, you know. Newspapers, man, they're really struggling. So put the link in the chat, click on it, and it will remind you how to spell her name and, you know, about her. And then you can Google her further and have access to an article, which will actually tell you something. will let you. But, you know, you can't blame the newspapers. It's, it's terrible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember this one. This was surely one of the pictures I had in my folder that did not, did not, um, did not like did not want to be seen apparently. Yeah, this is, this is great. I remember this one. Um, oh, what, what is this? Is that the quilt? What is this? What is happening right now? Look at this. Is this, a, okay, well we're clicking here, but you can all see, you can see this, right? The quilt in the movie, it's on her bed. Oh, she's so great in that. She's such a great actress. Um, Nora Ephron, yes. Molly, yes to Nora Ephron, yes to Parquet Floors, yes to Meg Ryan. Oh, Cisco, Witness, Harrison Ford in Witness, Amish quilts in Witness. Now I've got such a long list. Like, are we going to look at all of them? I don't know. We might. I'm super, I'm super enjoying this tonight. Like just, yeah, I, I am not tired. Um, we're going to click on this. We, oh, we are clicking on this because if that woman like made the When Harry Met Sally quilt, we need to know that. BBC show as time goes by. Oh. Okay, speaking of movies that are amazing, let's just talk about Witness for a second while this loads. Um, <laughs> Witness came out, you know, in the late 80s, right? And... Um, 
alias grace sorry i gotta do one thing at a time okay i'm gonna talk and then i'm gonna look at the chat i was born in 1979 <laughs> i was just you know normal sort of person you know person who grew up you know like Wah! and then like hit adolescence and was like oh you know i like boys what does that mean you know and i can't remember when i saw a witness <laughs> But it was, it's like, I remember seeing Harrison Ford in that movie and being like, hmm, <laughs> why do I feel like, like my cheeks are hot, you know? Like, why do I, ugh, like, I, ugh, I like him, you know? And he, there's that freaking scene when he drinks a glass of lemonade. Remember that? We might have to watch that. We just might have to. We just might have to. Um, Susan, yeah, I know. I, I. Well, I mean, listen, this is this is where we make the list, right? I might have to go through. Yeah, I got to go through and make sure I have everything. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, let's let's just see what this is. And then I kind of, I want to watch the How to Make an American Quilt preview. Internet seems to be all right. And I think I, I think we need to see if the YouTube is, is going to give us that a little clip of, um, of Harrison Ford drinking lemonade, like the lemonade scene in Witness. I think, I think we need to do that. Um, okay, when Harry met Sally, so what's going on here? So, oh, look at this, this is great. This is really great. Okay, this, so this is textile art, Arte Morbida. Morbida, I mean, that's like death, right? Mortality, mort, mort death, so art death art. I don't think that's probably what it means. But um, here's, the, here's the link for this article. Okay. Dear cinephile friends, this week, the chosen film is When Harry Met Sally. Unforgettable, and it brings us back to an important period of the long quilting history. Because I know all of you, <laughs> great, because I know many of you are sewing and stitching, I'm going to go ahead and read this article to you. Because you're not going to be able to look up and read it. And I mean, if it's lame, I'll skim, but... Let's just see. Because this is not a text. I mean, this is, seems like a really interesting thing that's not like it's an article about quilts in a completely other context, right? Like movies or something. I mean, like a, maybe it's a, a film magazine or something. Anyway, When Harry Met Sally, 1989, directed by Rob, Rob Reiner. I think, okay, I think this is a, written in, a, in another language and maybe translated, yeah. Uh, an expert in comedy, they say. Um, a brilliant script by Nora Ephron. Okay, I'm not going to read it word for word because it is extremely choppy. Um, so they really go through. <laughs> they really go through the plot. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's lame. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, okay, so yeah, they're in bed watching TV. The screen is divided in two. And he says, so the characters are in bed watching TV and commenting on the ending of Casablanca. Billy Crystal lies under a drab bedspread. Oh, she covers herself with a beautiful quilt, a copy of a famous one that dates back to the early 1900s. Oh, it's one of the splendid quilts by Marie Webster. Are you kidding me? Did you know that? Who knew that? Who knew that? Who knew that? That is crazy. That's crazy. Okay, I had a I had a gross a gross person in in the in the chat. I think I think I can get rid of him. Um So really, I mean that that I didn't know it was Marie Webster a Marie Webster quilt. That's just wild. Okay, well we're going to we're going to keep reading. It's one of the splendid quilts by Marie Webster, a brave woman, the first to write a book on the history of quilts and how a project is built. Uh-huh. And by the way, in case you uh, in case you didn't know, quilts, their story and how to make them by Marie Webster and the um, Ruby McKim book, um, Patchwork Quilts and the Women Who Make Them or Made Them, both of the books are... They're pretty old. 
uh, at this point, you know, I can't, I gotta look it up when they were made, when they were written, one of them was 1950s, right? And then like maybe the, not the 1920s, I think that's too early, but, but you know, they were, they, they're, they're not used these days as a, as a text, you know, that's really, <laughs> it's not as reliable as, as we, as we wish it was, you know, either of these books, like they they got a lot of stuff wrong and, but they're, you know, they're important books because they're like in the canon and they were early books about cults. So thumbs up. Okay. So, um, um, wow, this is an odd article. So it goes on. We all know what I'm talking about. Uh, an important woman who softened the somewhat harsh and sometimes crude style of quilters that preceded her. Oh dear. And drastically changed the image and diffusion of quilting. She created kits. It's true. Um, fainter colors and absolutely perfect copies of flowers embroidered using the applique technique. Oh, man, this is pretty rough. The one time I, I decided to read the entire article to you, it's like this. Magazines on sewing in the USA made them their own, and her name became a brand. Okay, yeah, okay, so, okay, so Marie Webster. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. This is the quilt that is on Meg Ryan's bed? No, 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 it's not that one. It's not that one. Uh, but it's a Marie Webster. I just have to see. Okay, look, there's a Rosalind, Rosalind Webster Perry. So that's, that's surely one of Marie Webster's children or maybe, uh, thank you. Thank you, gals. Gross. I hate those spam bots. Rosalind Webster Perry, I think is her daughter? I don't know. Um, but I, th I think I, I think I read that because, because Marie Webster, I think was the first person in the Quilters Hall of Fame or one of the first. Um, and you know, her house in Indiana, in Marion, Indiana is the, is the Quilters Hall of Fame, the Quilters Hall of Fame, you know, organization, the, there's a museum and the Quilters Hall of Fame, you know, headquarters are in Marion, Indiana, and Marie Webster's home is that place, is that headquarters. The Marie Museum is in the home of Marie Webster, and I believe that's driver. Anyway, so that, but I just want to go back up. Okay, don't get sick. I'm going to scroll pretty, pretty, pretty intensely here. So is that, is that it? Wait a minute. Okay, okay, look at this. So I'm going to zoom here. I'm going to zoom. I'm going to zoom. Okay. I know that's super, super like bad resolution. Do you see that motif? You see that motif? Is that that? No, 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 no. That's not it. That's not the actual quilt this person, but that is, but that is, that is, yeah. Okay, okay. Welcome, welcome to the welcome to the show. I mean, we we, we got to look at this. Okay, um, Marie Webster quilt when Harry met. No, nope, met Sally. I did not know this. I love this. Oh, uh, uh, great! Oh, uh, great! Hmm. Hmm. Mm, look at this right there. Boom. I just love that. I mean, okay. I get, I mean, it's just cool. It's not like, you know, that information is not going to change the world. But once again, okay, now, once again, you know, it was mentioned that the, the, the double wedding ring in Kramer versus Kramer was a very intelligent choice, you know, for a movie about divorce. Oh, man. Um, and now like, it's pretty interesting that a, uh, Marie Webster quilt, like, you know, that's a really classic, like American thing, you know? Um, let's see the one, Hey, Hey, um, Caroline. Hi. Uh, isn't the one Zach Foster shared the other day saying his great grandma made it. <laughs> Don't get cheese cracker crumbs on your quilt. Hang on, hang on. I'm pulling this down here. Um, 
Which quilt do you mean, Caroline? Do you mean, um, I think maybe that website isn't, isn't good. Um, Which quilt do you mean? Do you mean, yeah, tell, tell us more. And Caroline, by the way, her channel that she, we, we played the, tr the preview for it the other day, Caroline, you're making, you're really productive. Like you're making a lot of videos, which that's the key to the YouTube, you know, game is you gotta make a lot of, a lot of videos. So I know how hard it is. Like it's a lot of work, you know? So good job. Everyone should be watching those videos. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. I'm also going to pull up the How to Make an American Quilt ep um, preview so I can get it loaded up here for you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Password quilt. Well, look at this. Who is this? Hello, my name is Heike Schneider. Caroline, you're just in time because that sounds like a German, a German name, doesn't it? Caroline is our German friend. When Harry met Sally. Okay. So this is from 2012, 2012 here, okay? When Harry Met Sally, I have watched this movie very often indeed, and I have liked it ever since I first watched it. It has such a light, cheerful atmosphere, touching deep feelings, but always surfacing again with a comical moment. Okay, I am a little ashamed to admit that it was only when I watched it a few days ago that I realized for the first time, really realized the gorgeous quilt which Sally owns. It is a lovely piece in white, yellow, and green. I had noticed that much before already, but only then have I identified the design as somewhat familiar. Eight tulips forming a swirl and another eight blossoms in the center of it. I have appliqued this very design for my album quilt. Okay, cool. A short inquiry, inquiry of the internet. I like that. That's what quilt church is. A short inquiry of the internet. Produce the name of the pattern. Windblown tulips by Marie Webster. If you have a, if you have a lot of time and someone in your life who like loves that movie or you have someone in your life who's like getting into the cottage core thing that 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 quilt is not it's not for any slouch you know but like if you can make that that pattern is in Marie Webster's book you could make someone the quilt from when Harry met Sally like that is a thing you can do you can say Here's the quilt that I made. You're like, oh, I made something for you. Yeah, I made you a quilt. Like, oh my God, you made me a quilt. And it's like, you could put a picture of, you know, when Harry met Sally. And you, ooh, you could like give, I mean, nobody watches DVDs that much anymore. But you could like, you could get a, like a poster of when Harry met Sally. Or you could like take a little video of like when they show the quilt, you know, in the movie. And then like play it on an iPad as the person like opens the quilt. And they could have the quilt from when Harry met Sally. I mean, right? Isn't that great? Couldn't that be fun? It would be so much fun. Hi, Shay. Hi, Shay. Oh, maybe if you. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, 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 um, I we have to look up this Schneider person because because I think this person sounds pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I'm Caroline, I'm probably it's probably true that like people ask you about a German quilter, like, oh, do you know? You know, this person in Germany, it's like, no, Germany is pretty big. Anyway, I think it would be so much fun to make the Harry Met Sally quilt because it's really iconic. It's iconic because it's this Marie Webster history, but it's also pretty iconic because it was in a Harry Met Sally. I like that idea. I think it's great. Now, to be fair, Marie Webster did sell kits, so you didn't have to cut out all those pieces. That was like how she made her name and her fortune. I'm, the pattern's probably in the in the book. I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that it is. You could find it. The windblown tulips. Oh, great. Okay, Caroline's put a link in the chat. Windblown tulips. Okay, it's a beautiful quilt. So, um, so this person has made the quilt. Okay, so you might have noticed. Um, uh, Heike says Charmin. Heike Charmin says that besides the obvious different difference in color, in my pattern, the darker shaded tulips are on the outside and the lighter shades in the center, while in Sally's quilt, it is the other way around. This makes the yellow version twirls look more compact, where the red version seems to be somewhat projecting. 
Now I am really proud that my sampler quilt features a pattern of a quilt used in one of my favorite movies ever. So much fun. So much fun. Now let's just take a look at who this is. Okay, about, and then we'll go to a couple, a couple other movies. A couple other movies. Who am I? Who am I? So, okay, so Heike, Heike Sharman. This is a this is a pretty old old blog. I don't know if if this person's still doing their thing, but um, so at the time that she was writing this, she was nearly forty, so she's now fifty or so. A husband and ki and no kids. She loves to sew. She loves to read. It's funny. We should like get in touch with her, right? Like quilt church calling. Cool post. I think I will do. I mean, why not? I don't know. Wouldn't it be fun to be to be like get an email from someone who's like a whole bunch of people really like this thing, this blog post that you wrote in 2012, you know? Great. Um, she says to be able to create something is a gift. She's thankful to God for that. I get so much out of it. The product in comparison is almost secondary. Way cool. Way cool. And Caroline has a Pinterest folder called quilts and movies. Hey man, post the link, post the link. Carol Caroline's all up on the links. It's good. It's good. Let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to, okay. I'm going to, okay. Let's, what are we going to do here? We got to make our lists. We got to make our lists. Okay. Okay. You've got mail. We did that one. When Harry and Sally did it, the Waltons. Yes. Yes. Terms of endearment. We got to look at terms of endearment. Have I seen terms of endearment? You know, I mentioned I would do a four hour stream sometime. Maybe this is it. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, if you've just joined us or you've come in late or come back after being here, I'm going to sew. I'm going to set up like a sewing, a sewing stream this weekend, probably on Sunday where I'm like, I put a camera on what I'm working on and a camera on me note to self, get a second camera. <laughs> um, and like, you know, we'll just see see what that's like you know there won't be like a internet part probably good but i'll just we'll, we'll sew and we can chat and stuff i think i think it sounds like fun and there it is there is the quilt in terms of endearment Th these are surprisingly easy to find i mean well yeah pinterest caroline maybe it's your pinterest you know maybe it's your pinterest page where all of these are being found but i just don't know if i've seen terms of endearment I have. Surely I have. Shirley McLean I have. It's <laughs> pretty funny. Okay, good, good. There's the Pinterest page. Okay, good. Um, there it is. Oh, her hospital bed. Oof. That's pretty intense. Does the quilt like come into it? Is it a, is it a, is it a thing like, oh, we're going to put a quilt on your bed kind of thing? It's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna load this up. How to make it work and quilt. Did we did we watch I feel like in the first stream I ever did, Belle was there. In the first stream I ever ever did, I feel like we might have and by we I mean like myself and one other person, Belle. Um, I may have played this this um, preview of how to make an American quilt. But no one, no one was there. And I don't even know if Belle was there. And I might not have even played it. But we're going to watch it. We're going to watch it now. And, uh, and we're going to watch um, Witness. Am I alone in that? I don't know. The chat didn't blow up with people going, yes, please, please watch Harrison Ford. Um, always. Susan says... Um, Okay. Oh, good, 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 good. D. Marie. Hi, D. Marie. People are saying sewing with Mary. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I, I think that sounds great. When I, um, when I put that out there, see, here's the thing I don't know about Twitch. I can't figure out. I don't know if I can like send out like a, it, it, there's thing, things called whisper. It, it basically Twitch has like a DM feature that's, and they, 
it's called whisper like you whisper to someone through twitch like dm them and i have to figure out if i can like send out like a group whisper because i want to let you all know when i'm gonna do that on sunday it'll be on sunday okay well i guess i should just set it now i'll just set it now let me think tell me in the chat is is <laughs> is the um what i can't start doing it at 10 o'clock you know i can't i can't do it i mean lord help me i think like okay so 11 a.m central on a sunday isn't a crazy time so could we do it could what about if we did it at 10 a.m central okay it would be 4 p.m for me And I feel like that is a sane time because it's 8 a.m. for the West Coast. But like Sunday morning, 8 a.m., I would love to like to, to sew at Sunday morning at 8 a.m. So 8 a.m. for the West Coast, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. East Coast, and 4 p.m. No, 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 3 p.m. for me. Yes, yes, it would be 3 p.m. for me. 3 p.m. for me. Just make sure. Just make sure. I got to get out my little calculator because I'd like to set it right now because then I can put it on my Twitch schedule and anyone who's not here at the moment, you know, can, um, will know that I'm going to, that I'm going to go live. So, okay. Oh, yes, Molly. It's, that's right. That's right. 10 a.m. Central time, Molly says, on Sunday officially makes it Quilt Church. Agreed. Agreed. So 10 a.m. Central. Right here. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. It's 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 4 p.m. Oh god, have I got that all wrong for myself? Okay, no 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 no. No, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yes, yes, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Central. That's what we're gonna do. 10 a.m. Central Sunday. Okay. We're gonna sew. I'm gonna figure it out. So oh yeah, here I've got it right right here. 10. Oh, no, no, that's not for me. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. That's what we're going to do. Please tune in and we'll just sew together. Let's, let's see what happens. 5 p.m. for you. Okay, so that's interesting, Caroline. So you're one hour ahead. Okay, interesting. All right, so, 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 so. That we're going we're gonna to sew, so, so. And I'm going to play this How to Make an American Quilt. So that's, I would really like to do that. I would really like to play a full movie. We could have movie night, you know? Ooh, and if we had movie night, I think I totally would. Yeah, I totally will. Like, I'll do movie night at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. for you, uh, Caroline. Um, but if I, if, okay, let's pull my clock back up just really quick. If I, if I get up at 3 a.m. to do, like, a movie night in pajamas, like, get the popcorn out, if it's 3 a.m. for me, oh, yeah, great. It's 9 p.m., in Chicago, no movie night. Well, let's not do that. That's not that. So, no, no, no. If I if I go on at one a.m. to watch like a late night movie, like all night movie, eight p.m. in New York, seven p.m. for Chicago, five p.m. for Portland. I think we should do a movie night and watch the entire How to Make an American Quilt chat, talk about it on Twitch. I just think we should do that. And one a.m. isn't that bad. Okay. Let's watch this trailer. Did anyone see this? Like, who has seen How to Make an American Quilt? Well, probably everybody, right? Yes, yes. And you should get a notification. That's right. If you click follow, you'll get a notification when I go live. Um, okay. If you've, seen, you've probably all seen it. I, I think I must have seen it at some point. But it's getting older. 1995. Sibby. I'll pick it up on the replay this Sunday, so because I'll be at church church. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Um 1995 Pride and Prejudice. Colin Firth or Jane Eyre Fassbender? Oh, we've discussed Mr. Fassbender around here. People who are here who've been coming for a few weeks. Oh, we've discussed. I just, I, I mean, I felt, I, whew. 
I, I felt like about him in Jane Eyre like I feel about Harrison Ford. Uh, church, church, yeah. Um, you've seen it, okay. Yep, yep. Oh, good, good, good. Caroline's gonna be so on, I love that. You've seen it, Kate, okay. You've seen it twice, okay. I've never seen it in its entirety, I don't think. So let's see, let's watch the preview. Is, is it any, is it any good? I don't know, I like Winona Ryder, but... Let me make sure the sound is, is working. Okay. All right. Hmm. It's great. It's really, it's really good. Okay. Sorry. Baby loves me. to go away for the summer this makes sam nervous he thinks i'm leaving because last night he proposed to me so he'll come pick me up in september maybe maybe not but how do we even know if we're only supposed to be with one person for the rest of our lives for as long as i can remember my grandmother and her friends have been part of a quilting bee is this something you're making for the state fair it's your wedding boat honey Comes the bride. Why can't we love as many people as we want in a lifetime? What's your name? I mean, monogamy is really a very unnatural state. I brought these for you. Have you been talking to your fiance about any of this? You're getting cold feet. I can see that same look your mother. Dermot Mul Mulrooney? Dermot Mul He's cute. Mother gets when she's gonna dump one of her boyfriends. Sad look. I never liked fools. They give people an excuse to do foolish things. Ah! I'm young. I'm supposed to do foolish things. That's Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou is in How to Make an American Quilt? Well, I've definitely never seen it. Are you kidding me? Wow. Natalie, this was your first Netflix view? That's a cool... You know what? That sounds like a cool party you know, like a party game or like a good conversation starter. Like what was the first thing you watched on Netflix? I definitely can't remember, but that's a very interesting thing. And I love that this was yours. That's Maya Angelou. Okay, cool. There comes a time in every life. I'm engaged to be married. So you just want a friendship thing. Molly, I noticed. When planning for the future. That which is worth it. Means looking at the past. Young lovers seek perfection. Old lovers learn the art of sewing shreds together oh. and of seeing beauty in a multiplicity of patches. Universal Pictures and Amblin Entertainment proudly present the story of a young woman <laughs> whose eye... <clears throat> Continue. ...are about to be opened. Sometimes I wonder how exactly I got here. ...by the women who've <laughs> seen it all. All right, let me ask you this. If you had to choose between marrying a lover or marrying a friend, who would you choose? <laughs> Winona Ryder, right. Ellen Burstyn, Anne Bancroft, Alfred Woodard, wow. and Kate Nelligan in a film by Jocelyn Morehouse, How to Make an American Quilt. Yes, it was the Leto. It was Jared Leto. Okay, there's a lot going on here. First of all, Molly... Twister. Twister was your first Netflix movie. You do remember. I love Twister because Tori Amos had the theme song. She wrote a song for Twister and I was obsessed with Tori Amos to an almost frightening degree the time that movie came out. Um, I loved uh, the blazer, by the way. I loved this blazer that she was wearing, this red blazer. And this is another thing. Here's what we should do. Here's what people should start doing. You know, make, I'm going to scrub, I'm scrubbing for it. Yeah. Make the quilt from When Harry Met Sally. Make the blazer that she's wearing. Hang on, because it's Why awesome. Can't we love as many people. Boom! Look at those appliques. Exactly. We want a life the back time. is really cute. What's your name? The monogamy is really a very. There, you see that cool, that little little tulip thing. I love that. I think that blazer is really cool. I want it. Tori Amos. Oh yes. Um. Oh. 
so we could talk about Tori for a long time. She has a new album coming out, by the way. The other thing that I think is really lovely from this trailer, well, this is just ridiculous. I mean, this is one why I had to stop and laugh. Proudly present the story of a young woman whose eyes are about to be opened. Sometimes I wonder how exactly I got here. By the women who've seen it all. All right, let me ask you this cute cute jacket <clears throat> then there's one more one more little clip i like when she's running through what like a cornfield wrapped in a quilt it's great if you had to choose between marrying a lover or marrying a friend <laughs> are you kidding me Ugh. who would you choose and and by uh, i mean like that's way too bow hunky for me like it's just gross this is it look i i froze it right there what does she have what quilt does she have that's an interesting interesting quilt I don't know. We should, we gotta watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quiltner and Soulmates. That's what's up. That's what's up here. Um, extreme weather. Oh, yeah. Did they talk about climate change in Twister? Very interesting. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Love it. Ugh. Eric Clapton. Winona Ryder. Okay. Well, okay, here's what we're gonna end with. There's so much, here's things we did not get to. Glory Vanderbilt. We got to talk about it. Um, the Canadian quilters, the can just you know all of them. But there are so there are so many interesting people that I want to talk to you all about. And I found okay this. I took a screenshot the other day of this because it looked really really great. I want to investigate. This is a, from Instagram, and. It was posted by one of the people featured in this, apparently. But look at this. Some, some these quilters got into a magazine. I want to learn about which magazine this is. Oh, it says H and H. What's H and H? Hold on, hold on. What's H and H magazine? Hang on, hang on. Does anybody know H and H magazine? Is it like home and something? Great. Um. Anyway, we're gonna find out what it is because there's a lot of quilt stuff going on in this magazine and I want to know. But look, look, there are these four Canadian quilters to follow now. Well, I don't know any of these people. I mean, probably because I, I'm like, I know about old things at this point and I don't know about new things at this point, which is like not cool. But we, could, we should investigate all four of these people. They look very interesting. So that was on my list. We can't do it. We can't, we can't do it all. We can't do everything. So on Thursday, how about we start with this? And that's a promise. And then, and then, um, it's <laughs> great. Um, and then I didn't talk to you about, about this quilt on my, on my desktop and I, so I will and then I think maybe Saturday that's something what we do too house and home okay house and home so so I'll find that magazine I'll find it and we'll look at those Canadian quilters and now we're just gonna see I mean witness movie lemonade I mean <laughs> I don't know if it's something if it's anything we have to search for or wade through other stuff to watch or if the clip is over like 30 seconds, we're not gonna do it. All I'm saying is in the movie Witness, there are quilts pointed out by one of you brilliant gumshoes out there. And um, Harrison Ford's super sexy in it. It's worth a, It's worth a look. It's a good, it's good. It's a good movie as far as I recall. Sometimes these things don't hold up. Sometimes they do. Um, okay, so Oh, no, maybe it's probably really dumb. Look, I mean, look, oh, dear. Uh-oh. I mean, yeah, like a murder happening in an Amish community. Like, now that I'm even thinking about Witness, I'm thinking, hmm, is this problematic in any way? <laughs> I don't know. But he's, 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 oh, my, oh, goodness. Well, <laughs> I mean, is it great or is it, oh, that's Dolph. Isn't that Dolph? Lundgren or something? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rachel's choice. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see. 
Yes, the quilters like to see a little bodice ripping from time to time. Because we can mend it. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. And while we're waiting for it, I can tell you this. And this is what I want to talk about next time as well. Let me just wait, wait for that to load. This is Molly Upton. Do you know about Molly Upton, that quilter, Molly Upton? Some of you may know about Molly Upton. Whoops, let that load. And um, Molly Upton is kind of a famous quilter because she, uh, she died very young and she was really talented. And um, we, should, we should talk about Molly Upton. She has a very interesting story. This quilt was made in the 70s, 80s. I don't know, I don't know, but we'll find out together. And um, yeah, I just was, I was like, what? Because I want to put a different quilt on my home screen for you every time. I think it's, I think it's, that's a really cool thing to do, right? A little tradition. And we can talk about the quilt. But yeah, this is Molly Upton. And she's just got a really interesting story and I want to know um, more about it. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> No, he doesn't know, Carol. Eric doesn't know that I'm so transfixed by by um, Harrison Ford. And you're right, Nancy. The murder was not in the Amish community. An Amish child witnesses, and we have a title, witnesses the murder. Yes, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. And Harrison Ford, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, here's the bonnet, here's the bonnet, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. 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 Let's watch. Let's watch. Kelly McGillis. Gorgeous. I remember thinking like, she's the most beautiful woman ever, you know? Okay. Nancy. Thank you. Cause you're right. I know. Bye, Sibby. Bye. I didn't. If you're still here, bye. This is beautiful. This is artful. It's holding up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's very symbolic, I think, right? Because the bonnet, you know, she's taking off the bonnet to go. Oh yeah, and this clip is called Rachel's Choice. So I think she's taking off the bonnet because she's gonna go find him in the barn and maybe just to kiss him or something. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But this is a big deal, she took, took off her bonnet. I don't know anything about Amish traditions, really. I know like two things about it and they both uh, involve quilts. So I don't know what's going on here, but. She took off her bonnet. Ah! So pretty. Oh my god. Ah! I think we know why she took off her bonnet. Mmm! Oh! Yeah, it's sexy. It's still sexy. It's not cheesy. It's sexy. I think. Oh. Wow. They're really going for it. Oh. Oh, they're really kissing. Hmm. Oh, the movies. The movies. do after I after I hang up I almost said after I hang up with y'all that's what it feels like a long call um yeah I might wa watch witness and figure out how to do the thing that I'm working on like sewing so that when I join when we all join together to sew on Sunday you're not just watching me you know like struggle over this thing it's a y seam and it's it is it's, it is really hard. I don't know. It's just not, I just can't get it right. It's like a lot of different seams together. 
hand sewing. Anyway, that, that did not seem cringy to me. That actually seemed like artful and pretty sexy, right? And not, you know, it wasn't like, ooh, that's, Because if you notice, like I always, I always sort of judge actors by, you know, if there's, if it's just one take, like the longer the take, the more I'm like impressed, right? And that, that whole kissing thing, there wasn't much editing. They kind of started mashing their faces together and the camera, you know, stayed on that. There wasn't a cutaway, there wasn't an edit. It was like one take and you know, that's cool. And then the, the, they call that hour of the day, the blue hour, you know, because the light is so beautiful and sort of blue. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty good, pretty good. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> rum springa? What's rum springa? I don't know what it is. Chewing chips and watching peeps kissing wildly. I mean, that's what it is. That's what it's about. So, okay. Okay, everybody. What fun. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, this I haven't streamed so so long in a while. I mean, two hours and twenty minutes. I could go on, but I think I gotta make sure you all don't feel like, oh boy, here comes a stream that's three and a half hours long. I don't know. The people I like on YouTube and streaming and stuff, I sometimes I wish they would go on that long. So maybe one day we'll get there. But for now, I'm going to figure out my stuff and I'm going to watch Witness, and I think that's it for now. Thank you so much. Oh, it's Tuesday. And this was a great stream. And I hope, okay, and, and uh, Rumspringa is when Amish folks leave for a year and go wild with the English. That's right, with the English. Yeah, she just she just sprang into her Rumspringa, I'd say. <laughs> Best Rumspringa ever. Rumspringa break. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Rumspringa break. Spring break. break, break, break. Rumspringer Bake is funny. That's funny. Oh no, Brendan! Brendan! Oh, okay, you've been here before, right? Brendan? Brendan, I'm really glad you came. Everybody say hi to Brendan. We, we've we been on for a while. Go for that replay right away. I gotta say, this has been a phenomenal stream. There were a couple times when I had some tech issues, but we bounced back and it's okay. And yeah, that's okay. Just just bear with me. But there's so much to look at. We, we talked, I talked about the, the Bronte stuff a little bit at the beginning of the stream because I was in Yorkshire the past two days looking at the actual quilt at the Bronte Museum. Um, we talked about that. Then we talked about quilts in movies. That's why we're like watching movies. If, you know, if somebody's never been here before and they drop by and we're like, <laughs> Harrison Ford, you know, cinema, you know, it's like, oh, I thought this was about quilts, but it is about quilts. It's all about quilts. We talked about quilts in movies. I don't know. It just went all over the place, but mostly cinema, right? And uh, next time, next time on deck, right, for Thursday, I do want to talk about um, these these wonderful Canadians. It has been great. Thanks, Carol. I want to talk about these Canadian quilters, so you'll see, and then also Molly Upton. We're going to investigate Molly. So thank you so much, Brendan. We'll see you on Tuesday, 11 a.m. Central. We'll be here and we would love to have you in the chat, okay? So thanks everybody so much. And if you subscribed, thank you a million. Thank you a million. And I'll see you, um, I'll see you really soon. I'll see you in a couple days. And we'll sew together on Sunday.